Hi guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my art journey. So from what I remember, I started drawing ever since I was young, around seven or eight. And as a kid, I didn't really think much about it. I just drew because everyone drew and I drew just because we wanted to draw. Like as a kid, it's I think it's only natural that to uh, want to draw. But I started to get more interested in art when I was around nine. Maybe it was because back in my primary school, uh, there was this one program where few kids from different schools were chosen. And once every week, we would uh, gather together and then uh, we would do some art activities. Like one of the few that I remember was we went to art galleries and then we did some arts and crafts. Uh, we painted and then we went to museums. And this one was one of the, the things that we did. But it was just really fun. Maybe because I got to be as creative as I could and just do art. So I didn't really care about what other people think. I was just excited to show my work to the teacher. I was confident in my art, even though now that when I think about it, it wasn't that good. And I didn't really care about improving. I didn't even know that there were other methods. I just drew with pencils and I didn't really use colors. I didn't bother about the shading. I didn't bother about the ratio of anything at all. My drawing was a mess. Like when I was a kid, I used to draw lots of people. I used to draw portraits a lot, but the kinds with those big manga eyes, big head, the skinny bodies, and it was just it was just a mess. But I had fun drawing, so I didn't really care about how it looked back then. Or I wasn't aware of how bad it was. Um, it was yeah, but I still kept on drawing, and ever since I was young. Up until now, but art is one of my favorite subjects because art is one of the few subjects that I didn't have to communicate with other people. As a kid, I didn't really talk much. I just I was I was more of a listener than a talker. But art is one of the few subjects that I didn't have to interact much with other people because we get tasks and we all had to do it individually. I don't remember doing any group works for art. For me, when I draw, it's a relaxing time where I take a break. Like there was this one time where we had a family day and there was a, an art competition for the kids. But I found out like 10, 20 minutes later. But I still wanted to join. So I just I took a piece of paper and I drew with whatever that they provided. And I ended up winning first place. This is the drawing. As you can see, it's not that good, but uh, when I drew this, I was so excited and I was kind of proud of my drawing. And I didn't expect to win this day. And my drawing back then was horrible. It, it was just a basic stickman. The only thing that was a shape was the head. So in high school, we learned to play around with different materials. These are ropes. And these are just random objects. Uh, during high school, art class was just mostly us trying to learn the style of other famous artists like Picasso. Then I started exploring on watercolors. I started to practice on landscape and buildings instead of uh, people. I'm trying to learn how to draw from different angles. I tried to draw with pen. And during that time that I didn't draw, I realized that leaving art made me lose myself. So I started drawing again when I finished high school and was waiting to get into university. Now I'm a creative multimedia student. So as a student, is much more different than as when I was a kid. But as a student, especially an art student, I tend I tend to be more cautious.
cautious, you start to pay more attention to the details. You, and I guess as a student, you start to take art seriously because it will be my career soon. So, and you're not just drawing for yourself, you're drawing for your clients, you're drawing for other people to see. And during this time, I started learning about digital art. And digital art is way harder for me uh, compared to pen and paper. I still prefer pen and paper. Even though uh, on digital, you can undo your drawings, but you, uh, the feel is just not the same. And I didn't expect to be in this field, I guess. Like as a child, I did not have artists or, or creators in my list of careers. I wanted to be a teacher. Just take your time. You don't have to rush. You don't have to compare your progress with other people. Thank you for watching. And I hope you like this video.